Got the medium ripper here. I demoed Wade. I liked it enough to the point where I want to buy one and give it like a full shot of, you know, my outfitting and outfit in my way and take it for a couple of spans that way. Which sucks because you always lose money if you don't really like it, but it's the price you pay to do some reviews and help people out. But it's also helping me out to know if I really want um, a medium ripper or I just want to keep that on the goat. So kind of what we'll do here. But I'll open up the boat for you. Who doesn't like a nice fresh boat opening? I always love those. All right, let's get to opening up this freshie here. You be a little careful. I'll cut that seat. Oh, the sound of joy and money going down the drain. Johnny Ortiz can pay for his kids' college when he has them. All the money I've spent from that NOC. Just kidding, buddy. Johnny is a great dude. You ever actually had to paddle him before? Super good paddler. Super friendly guy. NOC is awesome, by the way, if you ever want to buy a boat. And they always have the boats, like when they first come out, so, which is nice. It's really hard to do this one-handed. Y'all like and subscribe my channel. You'll definitely see a lot of new boat opening videos because I don't really buy a lot of used boats. I'm like OCD kind of. And I'd rather just pay the extra couple hundred bucks for a new boat. And nowadays you don't really lose that much buying a new boat because the used market's so good. So whatever. In the future, I'm sure you're just going to see a small scorch opening and a small code opening. So stay tuned for those. Ah, look at that beauty. It's in the orange soda. Love a new boat. It's like Christmas. Obviously Christmas a lot around this house. Alright, so this was already pulled out of the boat, but I'll just show you. Anybody knows what's come with the piranha by now. You get this foot block, kind of cut the little sides out here and mount it down there. So you have some foam support. You got your typical piranha bag, comes with some shims, some seat shims, a little bag of roll of foam. They actually give you a lot of nice outfitting. Um, you got your standard hip pads and stuff like that. So there you go. I'm not going to go over the boat. There's plenty of reviews on a uh, ripper. Anyway, I'm gonna, I am going to compare the small to medium when I get it all outfitted and stuff like that. So um, keep your eyes open for that. Alright, so I was trying to outfit this boat. I already ran into a couple issues. Um, and Prana has some issues with outfitting sometimes. So, this bolt on the seat right here. Totally stripped out. I haven't even messed with it yet. Totally stripped out. So, you can hear that spin. I can't, um, can't loosen the seat at all to move it if I wanted to. I really can't even get that bolt out. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Um, I would probably have to cut that whole bolt out to get that out because there's no There's really nothing under here. There's not like a bolt I can hold or anything it it um, goes into this little uh, Cut out down here, but there's nothing I can really do to get that screw out. So that's a huge problem actually And then I was I bought two sets of hookers from CKS and I was gonna install the hookers in here, but and this isn't on CKS, this is Piranha. They gave me all big screws. And you're supposed to have two small screws, I'll show you here. So with the hookers, um, you basically put them in here and you can see how that one's really deep and that one's really shallow. So you're supposed to have a deep screw and then a shallow screw. So you can't install the hookers either. So here's the other pack. That's two sets of hookers I have with the wrong screws. So, kind of annoyed at that. Um, but more annoyed at the seat thing because that's a huge issue and 
Honestly, I don't know how to fix that without totally cutting that entire bolt out somehow. I don't know, that's that's kind of a huge issue. Alright, finally got the boat outfitted. Had to use some makeshift screws for now for the hookers. Since the uh, short screw, they didn't come with the short screws. But they're in there. And then for this, I had to, again, another makeshift screw. Put some goo going around there. It fits, but it doesn't fit flush. Uh, Piranha's going to send me some. No issue there. They're awesome customer service um, but for now I just had to make do with what I found at Lowe's um, but they're in there so going to the upper yacht today nothing else really running around me within a five hour distance besides the green and upper yacht so gonna, at least you'll have a comparison video side kind of side by side of the small and medium ripper on the upper yacht so I'll post that a little later So I have one, two, three seat shims I ended up having. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's on eight there. And then I think I have yeah, two pads in here for the hip pads. Got the medium ripper outfitted the way I want it, the new one. The so footage on the upper yaki compared to my small video. Going through gap falls now. Let it ride with the flow. 